Let's get to it. All right, YouTube, what's going on? It's Mesa back at it with some Destiny. So I finally got my bolt caster, guys. I got my exotic sword, and look at that. How cool is that? Do I think this thing's amazing? Do I think it's insane? Um, it's cool. It's a lot of fun, guys. Um, I always tease people on Twitter a little bit of don't be annoying sword guy, and that's when I'm playing the like the weekly heroics, and I run into people, and they're just nonstop dying because I gotta go ahead and sword everybody, and I end up reviving them the whole time. So uh, it's a lot of fun. It's got its uses, I think. I, I think in like uh, Court of Oryx, it's great uh, for taking out some of those bosses, and uh, even in strikes, but at, not at the end, guys. Ditch the sword when you start getting close to the end of the strike. So we're gonna go over um, my setup for it, and also what you can do with it and then we'll go over the quest real quick. So, uh, if you press R1, you obviously swipe. If you press R2, you get this little bolt caster thing, boop, like that, but you do burn up uh, sword ammo. So here I have 16, watch if I shoot this guy, I just burnt five through it, so you gotta be careful. Then if you jump and press R2, you do a massive uppercut that does a lot of damage. So that's pretty good for some of your taller bosses, okay? Wizards, witches, things that are in the air that are above you. Okay, so let's go in and take a look at my perk setup. Um, I've got it set up so that I have a lot of ammo, okay? Um, you can set it up for different things if you wanna make some more orbs for your teammates or if you want to do a little more damage. So here's my setup, here's the bolt caster. And let's go and take a look. So we got Tempered Light, increased armor when wielding the sword. You could choose more ammo or uh, kills with the sword, have a chance to grant you orbs. Got a uh, Sword of Thunder. So use R2 to shoot a beam of arc light from your sword, creating a lingering electrical storm. So that's what I was doing the whole time. Oh, I didn't mean to press that. Then last one, you could either choose more ammo or you could choose Warrior of Light to increase the damage for your R2 attack. So I'm liking it so far, guys. It's, it's, it's definitely a lot of fun. I'm using it on like patrol. I'm using it in a court of orgs. But when it comes to strikes, I like to uh, save my exotic slot for my primary. So, all right, let's go and talk about the actual quest itself. So first off, obviously, you got to get the arc sword, okay? Once you get it, you got to infuse things into it until you get to about, well, for me, I think it kicked it off. The quest popped up when I was about, ooh, nice, nice sword, Sean. Uh, when I was about, I, I think it hit 288 was when it kicked off the quest, all right? Uh, from there, you got to go see Shax, and Shax is going to give you this quest where you got to get 50 major kills, and then you also got to get 25 crucible kills. Now, for the major kills, I just stalked the whole front part of the Dreadnought. There's lots of mages there all the time. In fact, I got lucky because there was a uh, hive stalking party that showed up, and I slayed them all with it. So, really, really easy. Uh, next thing with the crucible, I took a lot of suggestions from Twitter, but what worked for me was uh, I used uh, Mayhem Clash. And it strangely it made me realize Mayhem Clash is just a boatload of fun. Um, I just basically camped the uh, the heavy ammo and I just hit in the corner like this, waited for people to come out and sword them. Sword. I know I like saying sword because it's funny. Other people don't. But once you do that, um, okay, just one of the tip on that too. If you run out of ammo or don't have sword ammo, which actually, you know what? I'm gonna run out of ammo right here for you. One, two, three. You could use what's called the hilt, okay? And if you press R1, you do that. And very, very difficult in PvP. I mean, everyone was telling me just to go into PvP and just rush people and try to kill them like that. Guys, it was really, really freaking hard to do it like that. So, not working out for me. Okay, once you do all that, then you gotta get what's called uh, essential elements, okay? This is my favorite pulse rifle. Um, where you gotta get 10 rare planetary materials and also 500 ability kills, okay? So for me, since it was arc and conveniently, I was doing it on my, oh, night, oh, legendary Ingram? Yes, boots. Oh, Sublime Engram. Very cool. Uh, I was doing it on my Warlock Stormcaller, so basically I had to get Spin Metal. And what happens is when you're uh, farming for these things, every 10 to 15 of those uh, Spin Metals that you collect will have the Rare Elemental, whatever it's called, okay? When, while I was doing it, I was also getting all my um, ability kills, so Stormcrawler, uh, I, I mean, it was fruitful because there was lots of patrols, there was lots of uh, taken zealots that showed up, so, you know, just use it for a time to get some uh, some reputation for patrols and whatever you gotta get out of the way, get some bounties done. It took me about two hours to actually get that done, okay? Then once you do that, then you gotta go back and see Shax and wait till Arms Day, okay? And conveniently, I did run it Tuesday, so Arms Day was the next day. Then what you gotta do is you gotta um, do a special version. Oh, hold on, is it more heavy here? So I can show you guys some more sword action. Um, then you gotta do a special version of the Sunless Cell, where um, you gotta kill him and his wardens, and is a warden for each um, elemental damage. There's a void one, there's a solar one, and then there's also a uh, arc one, okay? And you gotta kill the um, Alakul, right? No, Alakul, 
uh, within 30 seconds. You don't have to do the whole thing in 30 seconds, but what you want to do is get all of their health down and then uh, get his health down and then kill them all at the same time, okay? Um, I think you have to be the one to actually get the kill because me, Nava Bear, and one of my subscribers, Austin, we all had to do the quest, and for some reason, uh, we had to do it three times. It didn't really count. Hold on, let me see if I can do my uppercut with her. Um, nope, I totally missed her. I'm gonna run out of ammo right there. Um, yeah, we had to do it three times because I think you have to be the one to actually kill the warden of your particular element and then also kill Alahul. Okay, so, uh, and that's it. Then you do it and you get your exotic sword. So the real pain in the ass was the planetary farming, but again, use it to your advantage. Just say to yourself, I'm gonna spend two hours on whatever planet. Definitely go buy a ghost from the speaker. Uh, I believe, I think he sells all of the ghost shells that have some sort of uh, um, detective for you, the spin metal, spirit bloom, whatever it is that you have to get. And that was pretty much it, guys. So I'm having fun with it, but again, don't be annoying sword person if you're doing the uh, the weekly heroics and running ahead of every. Oh, hold on, I hear Cabal coming out here. Hey, come here, sweetie, give me a kiss. Uh, and running ahead and getting killed so much because you're using a sword. Use it in like. Um, like Court of Oryx, use it in the beginning part of strikes, but don't use it on the whole damn strike, okay? So anyway, that's it, guys. I'm out of here. Drop a like in this video only if you see fit. Follow me on the Twitter at Mason Sean. Check out my stream. All links will be description. That's it. I'm out of here like Vladimir.